How's it going everyone? This is Eric from allthingsfloor.com. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about bamboo floors. Um, and most people think of bamboo floors and think, oh, that's 20 years ago. You know, that's sort of what most people assume was bamboo floors heyday. Um, and you started to see it pop up across homes um, really around the world. And, and so today with the rise of the green and eco-friendly movement, um, bamboo floors are really you know the rising star in the flooring world and tons of people have questions about the different types of bamboo floors that there are um, so today's video we're going to cover the four primary types of bamboo flooring and i'll give you some some pros and cons on each uh, many people are shopping bamboo floors for different reasons uh, so hopefully by the end of this video you have a better idea of what's out there um, for you to, to purchase for your space um, and what best fits to your needs. So the four primary types of bamboo flooring are solid horizontal, solid vertical, strand woven bamboo, and engineered bamboo. And the primary difference between these different flooring types is really in the way that it's being manufactured. Um, there, there are a few reasons um, why there are four different types of bamboo floors, which we'll get into. Um, but primarily the difference is going to be in the structure and how they were put together. So the first bamboo flooring type that we're going to discuss today are uh, horizontal bamboo floors or solid horizontal floors. Um, and while I'm going to do my best to give you sort of a quick preview of a sample of these floors, um, you're probably going to want a, a bit more of, a, of an illustration to, to get a real view of what it looks like. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to post the link to allthingsfloor.com in the description uh, so you can go see some more vivid illustrations that should help uh, get a feel for what we're looking at and what we're talking about. So horizontal uh, bamboo floors are, are exactly that. So the way that these floors are, are put together is the, you know, the, the bamboo stalks um, are cut into these thin slices and, uh, and ultimately in a horizontal manner they are pressed together, uh, sometimes under high heat. And, and in most instances, or in some instances really, uh, they're kept with their natural color. So I like to think that um, the horizontal bamboo is probably the most natural looking of the bamboo flooring types. Um, so if you're a fan of more of that natural look, and if you're a fan of bamboo because of, of the nodes and the way it looks, this is gonna be the route you take. So if you really look closely, and hopefully you get a good image of that, you can see some of the nodes um, you know, on the floor. So I like to think of it as a, as a really interesting um, type for those who, who want it as, as more of a talking piece. So if you're a fan of just the overall natural look, um, but you're also a fan of, hey, you know, these floors look much different from anything I've seen. You know, what is that note? You know, what's the, the what's sort of the, the, the structure and the design we're looking at? Um, should, be a, should be a cool conversation starter for you. Um, in general, these floors are, are, are good because they can be refin refinished pretty often um, as it's just multiple layers of the same flooring type. While most of, of horizontal bamboo floors um, have, you know, come in their natural colors, um, some also go through a, a carbonization process um, where they go under high heat and, and you know, you'll see the color change a bit darker. So if you're looking for darker floors, you also have those options here. The downside about that is that it'll actually impact the structure of your of your horizontal floor. So you might actually end up with weaker floors overall, um, which you know may come back to bite you in the long run if you're looking for a more durable flooring type. And and the benefit of it looking pretty close to its natural state can be a pro and a con for some people. Some you know some are looking for for bamboo floors for its environmental benefits outside of just the way it looks so maybe the nodes aren't as attractive to some um, so with horizontal bamboo floors you're almost always likely going to see some uh, you know, some form of what the what the what the grass looks like what the bamboo shoot looks like um, so if that's not as attractive to you that might be that might be a con for you when it comes to horizontal bamboo floors in addition um, you know for those that are buying horizontal bamboo floors um, after they've gone through a carbonization process 
you're likely getting weaker floors. So that's something to keep in mind as, as a con if you're, if you're going after bamboo floors because of uh, the durability that it offers. And so that's horizontal, uh, solid horizontal bamboo floors. The next one we'll talk about here are vertical bamboo floors. And this is um, very similar to, to a lot of the pros and cons that uh, we spoke about related to horizontal floors. The difference here is that these strips are actually pressed together in a vertical manner. So horizontal floors, horizontal, horizontal um, pressing, these are pressed vertically. I'm going to try to get it a little bit closer so, so you can see it. You might be able to see the lines that pass in between um, the, the, each vertical. So one thing to note here is that while this is still going to give you a very natural bamboo look, um, you're going to see less of the nose that you would see on the horizontal look. So um, this is actually a good, a good option for those who are looking for just a solid bamboo floor, something that's just made with bamboo throughout um, without any other you know, wood or, or uh, com compounded material. Um, but it's not really interested in, in, in having it look uh, like bamboo. Again, you might have tr small traces of the nodes, um, but you should be okay. You can see this is a lighter version of it, but as with horizontal bamboo, um, this can also go through a carbonization process, which on the plus side will give you a, a darker color if that's what you're looking for, more caramelized look, um, but again, can also weaken the structure of your bamboo floor. So something to keep in mind um, definitely with all you know all forms of solid bamboo. Another thing that I really like about um, bamboo floors, a lot of feedback you hear on the vertical bamboo floors is that it offers sort of a, a minimalist, more natural look. Um, you know, for a lot of home designs, a lot of interiors designs are looking to lighten uh, rooms, especially light in rooms where maybe lighting isn't isn't that that great. So. Um, this is great, a great option because it does come in tons of, of lighter colors um, to be able to offer the, the kind of look that you may be looking for, uh, for a more uh, environmental friendly type green look in your home. And again, just to make mention of you know, some of the downsides of this uh, vertical bamboo flooring type um, is that you're probably looking at weakened uh, floors if you decide to go with a darker look that has to go through some sort of process to get it to that color. Um, well, also, you know, if those who are just aren't a fan of the natural look of the natural bamboo, if you're if you're looking for again just the foundational uh, benefits of bamboo without the look and feel of bamboo, you might still get a bit of that with vertical bamboo. So something to keep in mind. Next up is um, possibly my favorite type of bamboo floors and, and really the, the one that's seeing the, the biggest rise in popularity right now. And that's strand woven bamboo. Um, woven or woven, yeah, you, you choose the way you say it. I'll go ahead and say it differently maybe every time I say it. Um, so strand woven bamboo floors um, are probably the most interesting process um, of all the, 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 the manufacturing processes that exist with bamboo flooring. And so what happens is the bamboo fibers are shredded. Um, bamboo stalks are shredded to, to pull out all the fibers. And then it is typically combined with an adhesive and pressed um, under high heat together. And the result of that is this really durable, um, really consistently uh, well-structured bamboo floor. Um, and I really want to see if you can get up close on that. You can see even that the structure in that is much different from what you're seeing in vertical and horizontal bamboo. Um, and I think the benefit of, of this, one of the main benefits is it's, it's now being manufactured in so many color options. The one I'm holding here is in this nice uh, darker gray color, um, which doesn't even look like uh, bamboo. And so uh, a pro here is You've got a ton of variety, a ton of options, um, while also great for those that are not really interested in, in their floors looking like a bamboo stock or looking or resembling anything uh, like a, bam a bamboo stock. Um, another uh, really good thing, though, is you know for those who are picking bamboo floors because they're eco-conscious, you know this is typically using the remains of bamboo that are that come from the manufacturing process of vertical and horizontal so this is really using the full bamboo stock this is taking advantage of the remains and still being able to, to pop out a, a, an option that's um that's that's really attractive um, 
the 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 primary con that I can think of here is that you know at times the adhesive and this isn't in all cases but in some cases the adhesive used to um, uh, during the manufacturing process sort of bring the fibers together the bamboo fibers together before pressing um, can sometimes have formaldehyde um, in them so um, you know most of most of the popular bamboo brands um, do try as much as possible to comply with standards that set formaldehyde rates in their floors uh, to a minimum. Uh, but something just to keep in mind as you look and you're shopping uh, for bamboo floors, you know, most of this should be on the packaging, whether it's formaldehyde free, there are those options. Um, but if there is formaldehyde, if they're in traces that are actually expected to be impactful to the health of uh, humans or pets. Um, but other than that, you know, that con, I think, in general, this is a really great option uh, for those who are, are looking for almost all the, the benefits from an environmental standpoint of bamboo floors um, and durability standpoint from bamboo floors um, uh, without having to, to, for, to have it look like bamboo. Um, last thing I'll say about strand woven bamboo floors is that typically when you're hearing about durability of bamboo floors, so a lot of people say, man, bamboo floors are great because of how durable, how strong they are. And there's a Jenka scale, which we have a ton more information about on our site. But there's a Jenka scale that sort of measures how hard, the hardness of different uh, woods. And strand woven bamboo, when you hear about bamboo floor being, um, being hard and durable, it's really strand woven bamboo that they're talking about. So that process of high heat and pressure is what's really making this floor stand out from a durability standpoint than the others. So really cool bamboo flooring type um, really interesting uh, manufacturing process and the last one we'll talk about here uh, are engineered bamboo floors and uh, much like strand woven bamboo floors this is a this is a pretty interesting one um, and this is this is almost uh, for those who are looking to get the best of both worlds you know you want the durability um, you want the look you want to be able to to put this in in rooms that bamboo you know, otherwise isn't a great fit for. Um, engineered bamboo floors are, are pretty good for that. And the reason why is because the majority of engineered, an engineered bamboo flooring plank is not bamboo. Um, and so the way this is made is typically have a bottom layer or a layer that's about 60 to 70% of, or maybe more of the width. I think I'm holding one here that looks to be about 80% of the depth, sorry, of, of the plank is, is another material. This happens to be a mixed wood material. Um, there are others that are more of a plywood view. So let me see if I can get that up uh, a little bit closer so you can start to see the difference there between this and others that we've, we've reviewed so far. So as you can see, there's a bottom layer that's a different material that's meant to really help boost the durability and, and, and strengthen the structure of the floors. And in this case, and in most cases, what you have is a very thin top layer, uh, which is um, strand woven bamboo, um, or perhaps another you know style solid or vertical. But you know most often it's strand woven stacked on top of another wood material. And again, so this is great for um, making sure that your floors have the strength and durability that you're looking for, um, while also still offering the benefits that that bamboo has. So. Uh, a really cool option also comes in a ton of colors this is a darker gray color almost like the strand woven that we looked at but this one's even darker so what I like what I like about it most is that you're probably looking at options here that that are most typical to you know other hardwood floors um, that you're used to um, but you're probably not paying as much for it um, so there's some cost savings that go into engineered bamboo floors as well um, because again, your bottom layer isn't, um, you know, isn't a, uh, a very expensive hardwood. Um, again, in most instances, it's almost, it's just plywood on the bottom. So a downside to engineered bamboo floors is that, you know, if you're looking for bamboo floors because of the eco-friendly uh, traits that it has, um, you know, you're almost not getting the, the, the full benefits. Um, and it's because of you know, the, the, the distribution of bamboo in this floor. So the majority of this floor is not bamboo. Um, and so if that's really important to you, you know, I would say that engineered, you know, wood floors are not the option for those that are most um, heavily considering bamboo because of its um, eco-friendliness. Another really important con to point out is 
because of how thin that wear layer is, that top layer of strand woven bamboo in this case, or any other, you know, because of how, how little bamboo there is in the floor, um, refinishing becomes a concern, right? So if you're putting this in a space where um, you would assume that it's going to see a lot of, of, of scratching, a lot of damage, um, a lot of uh, contact with water, other liquid substances, the amount of times you can refinish this floor is minimal compared to others. Um, so what's happening here is that you, you'll you refinish it once, twice, maybe, um, and then you're going to run out of bamboo to refinish. So the, the, the more times you're having to refinish, the quicker you're going to get to the point where you're likely looking at a, a much broader... Um, reinstallation or replacement of your of your bamboo floors. So hopefully this video uh, was very useful for anyone looking at bamboo floor um, as a potential option for their space. Um, I find that most people are, are not really aware that there are you know four different types of bamboo floors and the big difference between the four of them. Uh, so hopefully this gives you a, a better picture of what you're looking at um, and how each one fits your specific needs for your space. As always, if you're looking for more detailed information, we've got plenty of it at our site at allthingsfloor.com. You can find the link in the description. We're going to find this information and plenty more about bamboo floors and other flooring types on our site. Until next time.